Hey guys, uh, today I wanted to go over uh, doing some simple conversions with you. Basically running from uh, milligrams to mill equivalents and then running that backwards uh, from mill equivalents uh, converting back to milligrams. So here's the basic formula that you're going to use. Uh, mill equivalents uh, is equal to the milligrams times the valence of whichever element you're looking at divided by the atomic mass of that element. And uh, by doing some simple uh, uh, algebra, you can come up with the other formula, uh, which is going from mill equivalents to milligrams. So if you're given a set number of equivalents and you multiply that by the atomic mass and then divide that by the valence, uh, that will give you the total milligrams. And uh, for your convenience, uh, I've also uh, included this little table. Uh, you can copy this down or you can find it uh, on, on a couple sites probably on the internet, but if you have a periodic table, uh, that's where all this information basically comes from. Uh, so if we're uh, going to uh, do a couple of examples here, um, we'll use this table to do so. So let's say that we have a uh, an order for a 2,000 milligram or 2 gram uh, potassium diet, and we need to convert that into mill equivalents. Well, let's look at potassium. It's right here. So our mass is 39, and our valence is 1. So if we come over and we use our formula, so to get mill equivalents, I use the right tool here, to get mill equivalents, we're going to take our milligrams, of potassium, again it was a 2 gram potassium diet which is 2,000 milligrams 2,000 milligrams times the valence, and our valence was 1 and then we take that and we're going to divide it by the atomic weight which is 39 and that's going to give us 51.3 mill equivalents. Okay? So that's easy enough. Let's move on and do another example. And This is something you might actually have to deal with uh, in a healthcare setting if you've got a doctor that's going to write an order in mill equivalents. Uh, most times diets that are in, uh, in facilities, uh, hospitals, whatnot, are, are in terms of grams or milligrams, not uh, mill equivalents. So let's say that a doctor orders uh, an 85 mill-equivalent sodium diet. Okay, so we need to convert this into milligrams. And let's go back and look at our table. So here's sodium right here. So we're looking at 23, uh, a, a, an atomic mass of 23 and again a valence of 1. So if we go back to our uh, formula that we had to get milligrams. Ah, I did it again. To get milligrams, we're going to take our mill equivalents, 85 mill equivalents. We're going to multiply that by the atomic weight or atomic mass, which is 23. And then we're going to take that and we're going to divide it by the valence, which is 1. And for our sodium, that's going to give us 1,955 milligrams. Okay? So again, it's not hard to do. Uh, you just have to know the valence and the atomic mass. And again, with computers these days, you can have no problem finding that on numerous websites. Um, so again, this way, if you do have a doctor that's uh, a little quirky and likes to order things in terms of mill equivalents, you won't have any trouble converting it over to milligrams. So thank you guys for watching.